My name's Tom Robinson, wildlife photographer. I've got a small business offering hide rentals for other photographers. Alongside, I like to do a lot of conservation work with, with, with the animals I'm working with, in particular barn owls, kingfishers, ones that have got a bit more pressure on them, certainly through human impact. Barn owl conservation is important because, you know, the, the natural nesting sites, they, they're just getting taken down, they're deemed dangerous, they could fall on a vehicle or a purse. Old barns are getting developed down the fen there. It's quite a densely populated area with barn owls anyway. It's not, not building the towers with so much of, of you know, bringing more owls into the area, it was more mitigation for these these old barns and stuff that are going to be developed into the dwelling. It was much more on, on giving them somewhere to go rather than gaining it or, or giving any more. So when we're choosing locations, the towers are sort of they are they're quite close to the barns that are going to get developed for a start. It's not necessarily important but obviously when they're really close to the to the area that's going to get developed, they're straight out of it, straight into it. I suppose that's it in my, and you know, I, I earn my money from the wildlife, so yeah, you know, you feel inclined to, to give to give something back to them, you know. These towers have all been built on, on farmland down the fens. Every farmer's different on their on their concept of what's good conservation. Obviously everyone's gotta make a living and obviously we need we need food. One farmer in particular I'm thinking about it is his approach is more on conservation and habitat creation and managing the habitats in a wildlife friendly way than perhaps some of the other farmers that are local to us. And it differs massively amongst people, but I think ultimately human nature, you know, there is a certain greed element there and, and there always will be. I don't think you're always going to get the, get a nice balance, you know. It, it, tends, to, it tends to always be swayed towards the, the profits and, and things like that. The initial design for these came from a chap called um, Bob Shepherd. He put it together, he's done a lot of conservation work, certainly with nest boxes. Uh, the problem with the nest boxes is it, it's got a lifespan, whereas you know, these brick-built structures here, they've got you know, 100 years on them perhaps before they need any maintenance. So yeah, it's a far but more permanent fix for, for the nesting sites. I tweaked all of my designs quite a bit with, with the windows from old barns, lintels are used with old, old pieces of wood, which is obviously more pleasing to the eye for photography. Yeah, so you can see on this owl tower here, we've got the, the top one is for the kestrels. The next one down is for the um, barn owl. And then below here is for little owls. Um, yeah, I mean, other species that can benefit, you know, up, up under here, we've got ledges for, for swallows and stuff to, to, to make their nests. And the pantiles are great for, for things like bats. In a big area like this, where it's just, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit desolate to look at, it's um, things like this are a bit of a magnet for, for wildlife, for all wildlife. I've, I've done lots, lots of different things. I mean, basically they always concentrate around habitat, habitat creation. You know, I prefer to take a piece of land that's not, not had anything done with it and, and try and create something new for, for the wildlife in that area and bring new species in. Creating a habitat that's supporting the ecosystem right from the bottom up, you're doing a better job. You're, you know, they're, they're not screaming out for free handouts, they're screaming out for habitat and that's the habitat that's, that we, are, we as human beings are just swallowing up and destroying. And with wildlife photography and conservation, I mean, it certainly opens, opens up the pe people's eyes and not necessarily just the photographers, it's, it's just the general public as well. You know, they see these fantastic shots and they take an interest in it and they think about, you know, their impact perhaps on the planet. So yeah, I think it is important. It carries on alongside, definitely.